Uh, my name is Engineer Henry Robert, and in my hand here I have the Phoenix Contact Profit Boss. Yeah, and I want to just take you briefly on how to uh, reset this and also how to identify the faulty contact here and how to know the active state of this. Uh, firstly, we let's talk about the active state of this. Now, this way we have the supply to this unit and if this is supplied to this unit if power is supplied to this unit um, this unit will be active for you to know the active state of this unit and this LED that is here will come up with a green light this will show green light this will show green light there's an LED here that will show green light and this two will show green light that means this uh, unit is active and there is no fault indication in if now if you happen to move this unit in a system an active system and then you discover that there are three red lights here blinking in this um, possibly uh, if you find this kind of situation then uh, it's likely one of this unit is bad one of the contact is bad it's likely there is a power changeover and the system is about to start up or maybe the profit boss signal has been altered the switching is bad and then it's trying to show that there is something wrong so you see the red light blinking here now in the case that you meet the red light blinking here um, uh, first you check your profit boss switching on the unit yes if it's fine um it's okay if it's not fine you try to replace it and fix it now if you replace it and fix it the error does not clear you still have red light coming on here that means each of any of this unit is bad first for you to reset this to see if it will pick up and then get cleared what you do first is that you hold this like this and pull out the power you pull out the power this is the plug you pull out the plug then you give it some time and then you fix it back now when you pull out the plug all this will go off because there is no power supply to it any longer and then you put this back again you press it gently and then you fit it back and the power comes in again and repeat it is possible that you put it back and then it clears no red light come out here the fault clear and then you can start to make use of the system and also it is also possible you put it back and the fault still still persists now if the fault still persists you have to look deep into unit by unit to identify which of the unit is faulty now for you to do that the easiest and the simplest way for you to do that is that you have to check the active LED here any of it that is not coming up when the power is supplied um, rightly shows you that that unit is part okay let's consider that this one is not coming up and then we have to pull this out of the system how do we do this to do that first you have to remove all the block from each of this unit firstly you remove the power out okay let's do it we pull out the power out from this we pull out the power out and then we now start to pull out every other block out from this okay we pull this out we pull this out also then we pull this out also we pull this out also now we have pull out all the block from this what we want to do is to remove the faulty unit or contact from this to remove the contact that is faulty from this how do we do that uh, behind this this is in a rail if you see there's a place for the rail okay so inside the rail let's say this was bad you owe this and then you pull the bad one out you press here you press here you press here and then you press here and then you pull it out from the rail 
okay let's say we pull it out from the rail okay now you've pulled it out from the the best thing to do when you pull it out when you find a faulty contact like this uh, is to replace it now if you don't have any to replace you can try other method and see you can try other method and see now you can take a and then you blow it and then take it closer to an AC because possibly it might be it or it's heated up and some of the contact inside of it some of the relays the the, the electronic contact inside of it has got um, heated up and it's not functioning well you so you need to blow it out then take it to an AC close to AC and the AC get it cold when the AC get it cold you try it again back into the system you take it into the system and then you gently fix it back in the system you gently fix it back for you to fix it back you look at this these are the three pin this need to go in here the three slots this need to go in here please this need to go in here three slot need to go in here okay let me try to get it clear so now we'll fix it in here it comes in here let's put this other one also remember this must go with this so this goes this way and then yeah we go we are fine so after insecting this what you do is that you introduce your power and then see how it will be if you take your power inside it then yeah we go so with this it's possible that you see the red light will go off because the, the the system the electronic unit of the device that was heated up it's possibly it's cold since i don't have another one to replace and then